and then calculate that out times 150 and then the time we put into it and see if it's worth it to do something like this. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. We are in the eBay cave for now. We are gonna take a couple trips out to the Commonwealth cabin. That place is just about ready, it is pretty much ready to go. I'm gonna do a little bit of a trial run on a couple items that are out there today. I pulled a bunch of items from in here, but I pulled a couple from out there as well. And I wanted to address another question too before I showed you what's sold today, and that's how long can you last here? How long can you continue reselling if you are at home like most of us are? I know some of you aren't, you have essential jobs, but some of you out there are full-time resellers and a lot of you are home and you were part-time resellers and now apparently you're full-time resellers. How much inventory do you have? What are you doing? How are you sourcing? How long is your death pile going to last you before you run out of merchandise to list? So I'm just curious to get your answers to that question. So if you would, leave it in the comment below. We've got plenty of things. Matter of fact, I haven't been listing as quick as I wanted to be listing. I've been kind of prepping that cabin out there and getting used to it. I enjoy it. You know, I like being out there. We tend to do things that we like to do. And so I like improving and tweaking the cabin a little bit. I need to get into liking listing a little bit more than I do. So I'm also addicted to the sale. So in order to get to the sale, I think it's good that we do some listing. I have been listing in the mornings. I've been listing five or 10 things every single day. I'd like to bump that up to 15. I think Blue Ridge Mama has been out listing me the last couple of days, so I better get on the ball. Had a bunch of vintage clothing sell today and yesterday. I think just one piece or two pieces today. And we have a bunch that have sold in just the last hour or two. And I'm going to put that on tomorrow's video. And I love selling those from the Sunny Shares sale. Hopefully you've enjoyed looking at them as well. I have been really, really surprised at how many people are watching those items. Tons and tons. Not as many purchases as you might think from all the watchers that, that we've got on those particular items. But we sold a bunch today. I think there were five that sold this morning. So we're going to get those and we'll show them to you tomorrow. We had a couple of our old faithfuls sell. We had a couple of items that I'm loving selling so we can get them the heck out of here. And a couple of other interesting items as well. As well, it's a homeschool hustler sale. So let's take a look. All right, we have sold another one of these, and this is a little bit different. And, you know, a lot of people have some time on their hands, obviously. So this isn't a terribly big surprise here. It sold for $9.81. And we're going to do media mail on that. So it was $9.81 free shipping. All right, here's our old faithful uh, mousetrap game board replacement pieces. They've been selling pretty well in this little lockdown. Shutdown. Not lockdown, shutdown. All right, here's one. My wife listed this. This is a neat one, I think. A little zipper in the back. This one looks like it's homemade, handmade, whatever you want me to say. And this one, this is how she listed this one. Vintage 60s, 70s sheath dress. I don't know what that is. I don't know what a sheath dress is. I guess I'll have to ask her. Mod, go-go, hippie, paisley print, faux pockets, handmade. So I know what faux means, faux pockets. So we don't have real pockets here. Just look like we do. <laughs> I guess that makes it a lot easier to... Uh, to make without actually having to make the pockets. So anyways, it's out the door. So for $22 plus shipping, I had to get her approval. She listed this for $24.95 and I said, hey, somebody made an offer for 20 bucks on this. And I said, uh, can I do a response for 22? I was like, there's eight watchers on this within a day or two. So maybe we should wait and see that guy, like, ah, just sell it. So we're gonna sell it. And this is from the Sunny Shares sale and it's a consignment sale and we're keeping a running total. So let's take a look. All right, Sunny Shares sale. We are up to 331 bucks. So, Sunny, if you're listening, uh, we're, we're getting up there. We're making a little bit of money, slowly but surely. And a lot of stuff sold today, so we're going to add to that total tomorrow. Hey, this one is going out to Ronnie. And, Ronnie, we appreciate the purchase, and we hope this guy brings you great reselling luck. All right, let's take just a little bit of a field trip, and we'll go to the Commonwealth Cabin, and the homeschool hustlers are in there. They're going to tell us what sold out of their store. <laughs> Right. All right, y'all, we had a sale from the Homeschool Hustler store. Matter of fact, this one went to a viewer, and a viewer bought two things. And we had two more Homeschool Hustler sales today as well. Except I don't think those were to viewers, so. Anyway, look at this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> She's eyeing the bubble wrap. 
So let me read to you what Matthew told us, and right, go ahead and grab the 101 Dalmatians back there and show it to us. Show it what it show us what it is. And this was actually a free item, and it was from my mom. Oh my goodness, that cat! It's from my mom, and she occasionally sends me boxes full of stuff. So this is one of the things she sent. I think it sold for 8.99 plus shipping. It might have been free shipping. I can't remember. But he bought two things, and he doesn't even want both of them. Here's what he says: it "says Thank you, homeschool hustlers." I look forward to getting this picture. Dalmatians are my favorite dog, and we currently have one. This is one of my favorite Disney movies, as I have always loved, loved Dalmatians. I am proud of you guys and the way you are being raised. I love the fact that you spend a dollar, save a dollar, and donate a dollar. So he wants you guys to take the money from the lunchbox, keep the lunchbox, and we'll use it to donate. So we're gonna take all six bucks from that lunchbox. Is this a lunchbox? Yeah, a little tiny lunchbox. <laughs> a little tiny one. It used to have a little thermos in it, too. If that had a little thermos in it, it'd sell for like 30, 40 bucks, but it doesn't. So, anyway, he bought that and he was kind enough and he only wants that. So, we're going to take all the money from that and we're going to donate it to one of the charities we talked about the other day, or we'll look through the comments and find a good one. Does that sound good? And then yes. y'all can get a dollar and save a dollar and spend a dollar from the other one. Sound good? All right, will you tell them thank you? Thank you. All right, we had a couple of sales today that came that were already being stored in here in the Commonwealth cabin. So I figured we'd come in here and we'd do a little bit of a test run and see how it goes as a stationary camera here to decide how I want to do it or to vary it up a little bit. And I wanted to talk about one of these items, this shirt back here, and talk about the power of multi-quantity listings and how much profit can be made versus how much labor, even if the profit is small. But first, let's talk about one of my all-time worst buys, which I've talked about a lot lately. All right, so this is the second one of the uh, Buffalo puzzles that we sold, Colorado, University of Colorado, or Colorado University. It's Colorado University, right? CU, I think that's right. I'm sure there's somebody out there that went there. You could let me know. And this is their stadium, beautiful stadium, beautiful area. And so somebody once put this thing together while they're stuck at home and maybe frame it or something, put it in a man cave. These I put on sale, I wanted to blow them out. I figured here's my chance to get rid of these, make a little bit of a profit, making about $3. I think it sold for $11.21. This is, I think, the lowest of the puzzles that I sell. So it is gonna go out first class, probably for around five bucks. I paid 99 cents. So with fees and all that, we're gonna make like two, three dollars on it is all. But we're getting it out of here and we've sold, I think, four of these in the last week. So I'm hoping that we can kind of blow the rest of them out and get rid of them. All right, here is the first item that I have pulled off of that little uh, hanger up there. <laughs> and this is something, if you've been watching the show, I bought a bunch of Liberty University stuff at Walmart. I was going to the grocery store and I bought a ton of this stuff. I only wish I was there sooner. I bought the stuff that I thought would sell and I left the other stuff. I left a bunch of the small sizes and I just picked the larger sizes because they're a little bit easier to sell. Now this is very, very light and should be really cheap to ship. I don't know what this is called. My wife had to tell me what to call this kind of a shirt. So put it in the listing. I listed it for $14.99. I paid two bucks for it. And so in my own mind, I do the calculations on something like this. We bought like 150 shirts. Most of them are men's polos. There are some men's t-shirts and unisex shirts. And these are obviously women's. I assume, I don't know, would, you th would I look good in this? Maybe. So this is a woman's large and it was $2. The polos were four and we're selling those for 20. These were two and we're selling them for $14.99. So you might think, why in the world are you doing that? There's such a small margin in there. And the reason I'm doing it is because it's not a one-off. I wouldn't pay $2, actually I might, because I'm a little crazy like that. I wouldn't pay $2 for any Liberty t-shirt but the fact that I could get multiples, I think we bought 150 total in everything, t-shirts, polos, everything. So if we can make a decent profit and then times that times 150, it's worth it. You often hear me do the calculations in my mind and then after I do it in my mind, I'm gonna pull out a piece of paper over here. I'm actually gonna do the calculations and figure out if I was close, I'm gonna be close, or how much I was off by and then calculate that out times 150 and then the time we put into it and see if it's worth it to do something like this. So I usually do in my mind, all right, it's 15 bucks 
So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna say fees are three dollars on that. They're not, they're not that high at all. But let's just say they're three bucks. And then we're gonna say shipping is three bucks. It's not, it'll be a little bit more than that, more than likely, because this is probably gonna be over four ounces. And then we're gonna say cost of goods is two bucks, even though it's actually two dollars and eleven cents because of tax. And then we're gonna add all that stuff together and we're gonna figure out what our profit is after we deduct the eBay and PayPal fees. So just in my mind, I'm gonna say three, three, and two, that makes eight bucks. And so eight bucks subtracted from $14.99, subtracted from 15 makes about a profit of $7. So that's in my mind the way I do the calculations. I'm usually underestimating my profit and I do that on purpose because there's other expenses involved. I have to buy that poly bag, you know, I bought this Rolo printer. I have to put gas in my car to move around. I've got to do that kind of stuff. So I always undercalculate the profit just a little bit in my own mind in order to give a good gauge whether or not I should buy something. So let's take a look at the real numbers here and see if it's worth it. Now I'm a history teacher and I have the worst handwriting in the history of the world, which my daughter tells me every day and my wife for that matter. So you have to bear with me here. Maybe I'll talk you through it. LU Woman shirt, $14.99 is the sales price. Cost of goods, $2.11 eBay fees $1.50, PayPal fees $0.73, cents. shipping costs $3.25. So I ran the numbers, profit is $7.40, $7.40. So it's just about what I figured. I say 7 bucks, but I build in a little bit for those extra costs that we never really calculate. Now, we bought 150 of these things, and this is going to be the smaller profit. The polo shirts are going to bring a little bit better profit. So I'm thinking that my total profit per item will be closer to $8 than it will be to 7 But let's just run the numbers here at this. Let's just assume that $7.40 is what I'm going to make on all of them. So $7.40 times $150 is $1,110. Just calculating that out, and let's say I spend 5 minutes on each item, which I'm not going to. It's gonna take me about three minutes to ship each item. But I'm gonna build in, cause you know, I had to buy them, I had to bring them home and organize them, I had to take pictures and I had to list them. I think at all it was like seven listings. So it really wasn't that much. So an hour's worth of work for the listings and the pictures and all that, for picking it up. And then we'll say that it's say four minutes per item after that. And so we're looking at roughly 11 to 12 hours worth of labor. And that includes shipping every single one of them out. All of the labor involved is going to be a 12 hour process. Then those are high numbers, but let's just calculate using the numbers that we just discussed. So 740 profit times 150 is 1,110 bucks. 12 hours worth of labor, dividing that down, that's $92 and 50 cents per hour. Who out there wouldn't work for that? Unless you're, you know, a doctor or a lawyer here. That's pretty good money. So for me, working here in the Commonwealth Cabin, that's a win-win, that's a definite purchase. Now there's some risk involved and there's some cash money outlay that you're not gonna see come back for a while. But you know what, if you do that 10, 20 times with different stuff, you've got the money coming in from those other buys earlier that's paying for this particular buy and kind of financing it and you're betting on the come down the road. And that money's more than likely gonna come in. Every once in a while, you know, you have a bad buy like this, but even this is eventually gonna sell and it is making some money. So these shirts aren't gonna be a bad buy. I might end up putting them on discount somewhere down the road. I might have bought so many that it's gonna take me four years to sell them, but ultimately, the money is going to be there. Even if I cut the profit in half, you're still working for 45 bucks an hour, it's still well worth it. So I think this is a good buy and something to think about when you're doing those multi-quantity buys. Even if the profit margin isn't what you normally agree to in your own mind, like I'm not gonna buy this item unless I make 20 bucks. If it's a multiple item with one listing, oftentimes it's worth it. Hope that helps you when you're out there buying. A couple more Intamin going out. One's going out to Eric, and Eric just wanted to say thanks for all the content. We appreciate you watching, Eric. He said he had to get one before they all ran out. It says, stay safe in this new world we live in. So, Eric, thank you so much. And this one's going out to Sharice. She says, hi there, my name is Sharice from Savvy Bins, S-A-V-V-Y Bins. I've only been on my reselling journey for 30 days, and I just started my YouTube channel, Savvy Bins. Appreciate all that you do for the community. I have learned a lot from you, and I am inspired on how you are teaching your homeschool hustlers. Thanks again. So, Sharice, thank you, and we hope he brings you great luck.
Talk about the power of multi-quantity listings. So we sold these. These are just two pinball replacement parts. Nothing amazing. And we make a very small profit every time we sell them. But they don't take up much space. And they're really, really easy and multi-quantity from here to kingdom come. So at any rate, those are going out. And we had another interesting sale. We had a Facebook Marketplace sale. And I'll let you take a look at that in just a second. And as always, we wanted to thank you all for joining us today and every day. And we hope you come back tomorrow and we'll see you next time. All right, just an interesting transaction. So that sign, I paid two bucks for it. Somebody's coming to pick it up. So they're going to pay me online. I'm going to put it out in my driveway and they're going to come pick it up. Never done one like that before. All right, look at this. We got a great gift. You know, for those of you who don't know, I'm a history teacher. And so this kind of stuff is great. I don't know if you can see this or not. First, let me show you what it is and then I'll read you the note. So this is July 26th, 1776. And it looks like a copy of the Virginia Gazette, which is from a newspaper printing office in Williamsburg, Virginia. And so what this is, is a copy of the Declaration of Independence as it was printed in the Virginia Gazette. So that's kind of neat. So the declaration starts down here. When in the course of human events it becomes necessary for one people. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but you get the point. And so it is uh, kind of neat. And I don't know what I'll do with this. I might take this to my classroom and put it up in my classroom. Or I might frame it and put it in here. But I'll probably take it to my classroom. So let's look at this note real quick. It says, thought you would like this. My son Josh just gave me the Enaman he bought from you. We are subscribers. And you have helped us start our business. Keep up the great work you are doing, Lil, Josh, and Frank. So thank you all so much. We appreciate it. Hey, I had a couple of people ask about this. This is basically just, well, it's not just basically. It is. It's just a paper paper towel holder. But you got to get the thin ones, fairly thin. Can't be too big. I'll give you an idea. Too thick, it won't work. And that's basically what I use right there. General purpose masking paper. It's like $2.69 at Walmart. And you would be amazed at how long that lasts. That's going to last over a month. Easy. And it just saves a lot of space. You know, it's a lot cheaper to go find something else, free material somewhere. But then you have to have a ton of space because it usually doesn't come so tightly wrapped. So that's what I use. I'm sure there's a cheaper option. But for the space that I have in the uh, eBay cave in here, it's definitely well worth it.